I'm Chloe and welcome back to the Mythical Studios channel. And today I thought it would be really cool if I brought you along for the journey of making a brand new pin board. So I do have a pin board already somewhere, hold up. So this is my original pin board and as you can see it is getting pretty darn full. Ugh. Ugh. So the pins on here, some of them were made for Mythical Studios, such as a lot of the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Some of them are mine personally, which I wanted to collect, and others are ones from holidays, because me and George have this tradition of getting a pin on every holiday we go when we can. Sometimes we can't find them. And as you can see, it is getting pretty cluttered. So today I've decided to make another one. So the aesthetic of this board is pink clouds and it does remind me of the cape like on the mouse in the last video. And although I really really like this, my room is starting to go a little bit more on the green side. I've just put up a brand new shelf, there is plants up there which is green, I've just got this brand new spooky sign from Sainsbury's which glows green and is amazing. I've got a green spooky book up there, I, I feel like we should go more green and that is what I'm going to do today. Also I kind of really need to sort these pins out because it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a a lot of pins and eventually I kind of want to go through them and show you which pins I've got but for now we should crack on with the cork board I think. Also you may have noticed this giant gash in my forehead. Last night I was trying to adjust myself on the bed so I wouldn't annoy the cat and I ended up banging my head on the windowsill. <laughs> so yeah that's where that came from. It's really sore. Like it's really really sore. Ugh. Okay, so we're putting our hair up, we're getting serious, we're gonna paint, we're gonna get painting and hopefully get this done today. So, let's do this. So to begin with I started gathering all my materials such as the cork board, a selection of green paints and some black, and a little bit of white and yellow just for highlights. And whilst doing this I stumbled upon my old paint plate and oh my god I haven't seen this thing in forever and I got completely distracted by the paint and managed to start picking it for about half an hour trying to get all the paint off because I knew underneath all that paint was a beautiful picture of an eyeball. I then suddenly realised what are you doing? <laughs> You're filming a video. <laughs> Put this away and get cracking. So that's what I did. Maybe eventually I'll come back to that plate and save it. So then using that same plate, I then positioned it in the corner of the corkboard as this is where I wanted the moon to be because I knew I wanted to hang this painting diamond way up, corner side up, does that make sense? Diagonally? I wanted it to be a diamond on my wall. I've seen a lot of this on Pinterest and I've seen it on a lot of interior design Instagram pages. Diagonal stuff is where it's at and I wanted that. So that's where I thought the moon would look best. So I tried to draw around this thing in pencil and oh my god, don't use pencil. Such a waste of time. Just go straight in with felt tip, the paint will cover it anyway. And eventually I figured that out and went around the scrapes which the lead pencil managed to carve into the cork board. So don't use pencil. <laughs> so as you can see, I originally wanted the moon to be this kind of slimy, drippy moon in the sky. And pretty soon after I'd drawn it on with felt tip, I changed my mind. So try and ignore that. <laughs> I think it's because I realised the moon wasn't going to be white, it was going to be a hint of green and looking at that as a slimy thing on my canvas, I think it would look a lot like snot. It looked like a big old booger and that is not what I wanted. <laughs> that is not the aesthetic we're going for. So I completely changed my mind and just went straight back to the idea of doing a traditional moon. So that was a waste of time. <laughs> but you live and learn. So shortly after I had a rough plan planned out with felt tip all permanently on there. And then went straight in with the black paint. And throughout this I am using mainly acrylic I think. I never actually checked the bottles. I have this giant box of paint and I just grabbed whatever colour looked cool. <laughs> so I was saying I went in with the black. That was the main back part of the background. And then after that I went in with these lovely hues of greens and blues. And I just kind of blend them together to make like a moonish glow. Like a really globby green moon. That's what we're going for. I then went on to the moon, which looks very lime here, and it's not too limey, it's actually a metallic-y kind of glittery colour paint that I used for the moon. It doesn't really show up well on camera, but in real life, if you ever come around my house, you'll see that it's a very metallic, kind of glittery paint, and not too limey. <laughs> I chose to use metallic because I thought it would make it look like it was glistening. Glistening in, in the moonlight, glistening, I can't say that word. Glistening in the moonlight. Shortly after that I went in with a darker shade of green and mixed that metallic lime green, the darker shades of green that I'd used previously to make this darker shade and make the craters on the moon. 
which I later filled in with highlights of lighter greens and then little darker shadows using the darker greens. After that it was just a few touch-ups and then using the back of a paintbrush I dipped it into the white paint and dabbed on a ton of white stars which just look fabulous if you ask me. Love it! <laughs> Next I had to install this into my wall and my wall is thin. It's made of this cheap cinder block kind of stuff that once you get about an inch of screw through it just goes straight through the wall as a hole and I mean I managed to hang it up but I don't know how long it's gonna last especially once I get the pins on but here is a lovely shot of me hanging the actual thing up minus all the pins which will be coming soon. Lastly, here's a few finished shots of the painting in its forever, hopefully, home. <laughs> Along with my awesome spooky sign, my glow-in-the-dark moon from Poundland, which was actually two pound, not one pound. My spooky storage book, also from Sainsbury's, and a ton of my Chinese money plants, and then whatever that fern is in the corner. I don't know the name of it, but they're all my babies. And there we have it. Beautiful green scene. <laughs> finally finished the painting and it actually didn't take too long maybe about an hour or two it was quite a quick painting and I will admit it could be better I really need to get back into painting I haven't painted in so so long but overall for a really quick job and for something just for my bedroom I really like it I think it looks really good and I'd love to know your opinion on it and what do you guys think I am letting it dry overnight and then tomorrow when it is fully dry I'm gonna go through my pin boards I'm gonna go through the other pins that I have just lying around everywhere and I'm gonna finally stick some to that board I'm also gonna rearrange these pins so make sure you like and subscribe just so you get notified for when that video comes out because I think that'd be really cool and we can go through my entire pin collection together. So I really hope you like this video and thanks for watching. And if you want, go check out the Mythical Studio store for some of the pins you've already seen in this video already. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.